everyone. Welcome to Saban Saga number 14. Uh, 13 was Panda Chaos. I did do it. I just haven't posted the video for it yet because I wanted to try and add commentary to it. Um, but yeah, uh, Lawn and Rain lost chapter here. I uh, pulled Edgar in, uh, in tickets. I saved up over 1,700 tickets to make sure I'd get them. I thankfully did not need that many. Um, but yeah, we're going to be uh, taking Sabin into a wonderful, holy absorb fight. Uh, so a lot of people uh, probably still think that uh, some absorbs will hurt uh, characters. What I want to point out that's really nice is that Sabin has two elements on his on single abilities, which means that if he can imperil one of them, that's good enough. Same thing is true for Lawn and Rain. Um, if uh, enemy absorbs water but is neutral to ice, then Blizzard and water will still deal weakness damage, um, which is really nice, which is why Sabin's not locked out here. Even though these enemies are super resistant to uh, to magic, his imperil's going to bypass that. And I'm going to bring Ifrit um, just to ensure that we hit weakness damage and summon um, with uh, what we will be bringing, of course, a friend Setzer, as much FF6 as possible, always. Um, uh, Pinello works really, really nice with this, uh, with these two. She just provides a ton of battery healing. She, she just doesn't need any more help. She's got the buffs for the team. Um, and her, uh, her EX is, is so good at shaving these bosses down as well. And her speed buff is really important, uh, for keeping, uh, keeping everyone fast. Cause these bosses get real fast, real quick. Um. Uh, and yeah, I'll talk more about Edgar once we uh, once we get into it. Uh, so I am going to grab uh, Neanderthal. Uh, sets are here. Got really nice stuff. Shout out to France. They're experiencing some difficult times right now. They're about to go into lockdown for uh, for the COVID stuff. So wish the, the best and safety for basically anyone having to deal with this. Um, it's pretty uh, pretty scary, but we thankfully have a wonderful game that can uh, that we can. Put ourselves into and, and enjoy a lot so let's uh let's dive into this so um because Saban is his aura cannon is absorbed in the last uh in the last wave um, i'm gonna use razor dale heal here just to give him his max brave um but yeah he's gonna save the rest of those razor gales until the uh until the boss um so I'll drop a uh, drop drill to get the uh, the debuffs um, flowing with uh, with Edgar. Um, what's really nice is that he starts with sap. Um, so yeah, uh, that's that's super nice. Um, we will get Pinello and haste stance. I do like starting with haste stance because uh, I don't know. I would uh, I'll just dump my brave there. I'll switch to region in a second. Um, but I do like using that the haste for free because I like that it's on demand instant turn for when you need to shave. It's really helpful. So yeah. Um, yeah, I will be using, uh, I am going to try and kill these guys moderately similar. Um, I'm going to be spamming aura cannon. I want basically probably two to three aura cannons at the end of this. Um, yeah, basically, Sabin's gonna use those through the trash waves. I think one trash wave will probably just use some EXs to clear through. It won't be, won't be too bad. Um, so no worries. You'll notice the damage these these two brothers, the Figaro brothers, are gonna pound out in this uh, in this level. Obviously, Edgar's synergy, so that that helps a lot um, with this, but. Um, yeah, when they get into it, it's uh, it's quite quite nice. Um, okay, he's got his uh, plus version, which we're of course going to take advantage of, and of course, this is the ideal situation. They're both aiming at Saban, and uh, he batteries himself on Aura Plus, so they cannot break him. You'll also notice how much sap Edgar's taking. It's really nice that the sap um, for this. Um, for this battle, the the sap does some really nice work in keeping him batteried and sort of fueling his HP plus. As uh, we, uh, I definitely said it in the uh, in the infographic, but uh, definitely is true. So like here, there's 
he's maxed out. I'm not going to use a skill. There's not really a point. I'll just break this guy, and then um, I think his EX may be fully charged by then. Saban can just uh, dump. And he's getting targeted again. This is sort of why I like Pinello. Everyone uh, talks about why would you ever use her in any other stance. Well, Saban's going to get broken here, but the fact that he batteries, uh, that she batteries more on her waltz uh, is really nice. So here's... Oh, I love this EX. This is so nice. Oh, so satisfying. All right. Uh... Yeah, uh, I'm going to use this uh, one more um, one more time, and then I'm going to use uh, Haste Rumba to get her, her stances back up, and then she'll be able to use her EX right away. Ah, oh, Phantom Rush. I love that their kits are so similar. Um, it's, uh, it's really cool. Very, uh, very nice. Uh, so here I'll just draw Auto Crossbow. Um, yeah, I mean, Edgar is really similar to his brother just without the stacks, so when there isn't a lot of Brave, um, <laughs> there, when there isn't a lot of Brave, you can see the Sap doing, doing some work there, which is, uh, which is nice. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah, the, um, the Sap is nice, it does, don't does a ton of work. I totally forgot my train of thought there, so sorry, I'll probably listen back to this and say something, but... Yep. Pinello just filled... This is exactly why I wanted Pinello so much, was because I missed Rosa, and Rosa's also locked out of, like, random resist stages, potentially, also. Um, but yeah, this is... She's so nice that she complements the two of them uh, really, uh, really well. Oh man, I have so many Aura Cannon uses, uses, I was probably too conservative. He's going to get turn right on there, and he's got all his, uh, all his brave. Yeah, this team does take a lot of breaks. Um, oh, look at the sap. When they do the charge, it's really nice. He double saps them. Now his, uh, uh max brave is filled out. I'm actually going to use a drill here. Um, just to fuel, Sabin is going to kill them uh, with an Aura Cannon. His EX might be up, and I don't really care. He has so many uses. No, it's not up. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna die, and I have three auras left, which is perfect because there's three trash waves. Uh, I do not. I did use Aura Cannon in. Um, uh, I did run this team before, and they worked really nicely. Um, let's, uh, let's just clear through these guys. Yeah. Um, he can spam Aura Cannon here because we don't need it for the last wave, although in my test run, he, uh, yeah, he totally, um, used an Aura Cannon in the last wave, and it actually was really helpful. Um, so I was sort of surprised. So if I have another one of those, I'm gonna, yeah, I may as well, uh, do this. I'll clear out one of these guys with the EX, um, massive overkill, so boost score, <laughs> that's, uh, that's nice, um, yeah, I don't need to, uh, worry about, uh, Pinello quite yet, uh, yeah, so here I'm gonna chainsaw, kill this guy again, overkilling, and then Saban's gonna punch this guy. How often do you see resetting in a trash wave? <laughs> those, uh, those purple dudes, um, they do absorb, or they're, uh, uh, they, what are they? They don't like holy. Yeah, they're null, nulled to holy. Um, which, uh, which is sort of interesting. I did discover something that I'll show you in just a second that I thought was cool. Anyway, um, so she's gonna HP plus. Now he can't, I can't aura these guys, he'll deal no damage, so I have to aura this guy, which messes up the, the break order, but that's fine. So what I wanted to show that's sort of cool now is uh, they're actually super resistant now to Holy from Nullify, 
Um, but the, the problem is, is that resistance doesn't stack. So it's too bad that it doesn't. If it did, then we could technically like stack on four, four imperils and, you know, start dealing some damage. Um, but uh, to some of these um, absorb, uh, these absorb cases. Um, anyway, I have the choice between using a drill here. Um, otherwise, B is just going to waste his turn and then Saban's going to punch him. So I think I'm fine with that. So I'll just kill this guy. Saban might get an overkill here. Uh, no, doesn't look like it. No worries. Okay. Here we go. Um, Saban's going to open with Razor Gale no matter what to imperil. Otherwise, his HP plus won't deal damage. Okay. That doesn't do a lot, and that's fine. Uh, so she... Uh, let's see. I want to get this speed buff up first. So let's do this. Uh, and then we'll keep damage mostly even. She's going to be breaking A with her HP plus. Uh, and yeah, uh, this team, like I said, they do take a ton of breaks. So we'll try to prevent that as much as uh, as much as possible. Um, but uh, yeah, we want to get drill on these guys. I don't want to screw up turn order. So I'm going to do this now. One thing that's really important, you can see Edgar just jumped up. This is why I like Edgar, especially against fast bosses. Oh man, so much work because um, he just jumped up. Otherwise, think about it. Pinello would be sitting here by herself to deal with two enemies at 6k grade. And instead of that, Edgar can break them. Again, from like low brave, same with Saban when you have these like split AoE skills. I do like to use it when their brave is really low so that they don't cap or anything. Let's get the region going. And yeah, plus versions. Always going to delay. Um, there's some rare cases when I need to grab a uh, turn order that's going to be really useful to use the last aura on the boss. You've got to love that damage. These guys really don't have that much health, but they take so many damn turns and they dance around so much that they're really annoying. <laughs> uh, yeah, so they're doing this all attack. Um, and I don't really care. She's going to battery. They're both doing the all attack. She's going to battery them. Um, and so she's going to get broken first, and then the other two will get broken. So, yeah, the, the turn order down here is totally fine. You do have to sort of watch out for that. So if they were to get broken, because there's two of these, um, then we'd have to worry about it. But yeah, seems seems fine. Saban, I think, has his EX up. And we'll keep break order intact. You'll notice that I don't care at all about like getting the plus version of his EX. He's just gonna he's gonna cap constantly, uh, which is great. Uh, so here we'll uh, let's see. Giving Pinello two turns in a row isn't necessarily the most useful thing in the world, which is why that's good. So yeah, let's let's drill. Pinello's buffs are all good, so I'm gonna uh, keep her where she's at right now. Deal all that damage. Yeah, you can. She's definitely better in Roomba for this. Like it's. It's better, like, the team doesn't need to be battery more, um, but that's, but that's fine. Nice solid HP plus. Pinello's turn again. Um, okay, so Pinello can get broken. I don't really care. Sabin can't get broken. So, yeah, we're, we're fine with this. Just dump. She is going to use, um, haste after this. 
So Sabin's gonna HP plus B. Cool, thanks for the mess. You silly dancing chimera animal thing. Yep, so they'll hit that. Looks like I'm gonna have to change headsets in a minute. Or swap, swap headsets I should say. Okay, so no, he's not getting any uh, any turn rate. He is going to get two saps worth of, of Brave, and Pinello is going to go um, in between. So let's just do that. Um, so as I said, she's going to haste. I want to keep speed up for the team. And her EX is almost up. Um, no concerns if she gets broken. I don't care. Nice mess though. That's very convenient. She's gonna use her next coming up next. Okay. They're not at this stage where they constantly break us. And by the way, when they get three turns in a row, that is 1000% when I'm summoning. This delay is not perfect. Oh, that was pretty good. Okay, I'll pick it. Here's Chainsaw. Probably need to keep damage even. I think we're hitting A a little more than B at this point. So Pinello will hit this guy. Sayonara's right. Yeah, we just have to be very wary of, uh, of the breaks and such. Okay, uh, so here... Ideally, I want to just HP plus. I'm thinking of whether uh, Brave minus. Actually, yeah, I don't, because Pinello's going to get broken, and if Saban also gets broken, then they're going to, they're both going to move back. So I actually want to, I'm going to just Brave plus here. That way, the turn order is just a little bit better. Um, Edgar's Max Brave down buff is doing some nice work here. It's actually, um, a lot of people say that his big weakness is his lack of hits. Well, that's why his max break buff, debuff is good, because he can absolutely shave this without a problem. Um, so that's, uh, that's pretty nice. Yeah, his high turn rate is awesome. I love it. Let's get her regening again. Okay, so she's not going to get broken. I'm just going to HP... HP plus here. It's possible she she won't she shouldn't get broken, um, and Saban shouldn't get broken either. I hope if he does get broken, we're in trouble. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're in trouble. Okay, this is why I like having haste one more. Let's apply that. Shave this guy down. And then Sabin is going to uh, Razor Bale. He's got he should have three stacks. Yeah, he does. Okay. So now she can Snafu. Okay, so yeah, he's going to delay. Unfortunately, um, it won't be as grand as you're uh, as you're hoping, uh, just because of the break order. So it didn't do as much as you'd like it to do. Um, but yeah, it did the it did the trick. Okay, they're taking three consecutive turns now, and that is that is the uh, the cue. Um, so he's going to break Pinello. B doesn't have any Brave. B is going to break Saban. Edgar's going to uh, shave both of them here. And then Saban's going to gonna get swapped out. Okay. So B's got a lot more health. So let's, uh, let's block B. So he's got his EX up, so I will just use his EX on A and shave right through that 
Shave is such an appropriate term when you're using a giant chainsaw. That is insanely satisfying. Ooh, he's got his EX. Uh, I really want to use his EX, but then A is going to break both Pinello and Edgar and then take another turn. So we're not going to do that. So in comes uh, Friend Setzer. It's okay. Saban will clock them when he gets back. We're not gonna. We're not gonna kill these guys um, in time. Uh, yeah. So let's summon. Okay. So normally, uh, I think before I had been red carding. Um, man, I really don't want Pinella to get two turns. Um, yeah, I'm just going to prismatic flash. That's gonna deal weakness damage. Uh, they're weak, so even though they resist magic, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to do this, because he's going to max out everyone's brave. Which is awesome. And then uh, Pinello can can hit... What is a Pinello hitting 80k with an HP plus out of synergy? That is awesome. Uh, so here we're for sure using Drill um, for the splash. That is so good. And, yep, let's uh, equalize these guys a little bit. He is going to freeze them after. Um, but red card just deals way too much damage. Um, so here I'm going to uh, give Setzer the, uh, his region, which is nice. And then, yeah, he's going to use uh, Drill again. It's just it's a lot of damage. I like it. Makes me happy. Okay, let's shave this guy down. So she's in waltz mode, so she's gonna she's gonna battery here. Which is fine. Okay, so being that this is Setzer's uh, Setzer's turn, I am gonna uh, freeze these guys so that there's no shenanigans. For sure, no shenanigans. I'm not in the mood. Uh, so let's hit this guy. Just check. Pinello won't get broken. Setzer will, so turn order is okay. You do really have to check that for this. It is quite important. Yep. There we go. Setzer doing some great work. He's going to red card. Uh and then he's going to freeze them again. Uh, let's see. I'm inclined to give Setzer a nice... Uh, a nice battery. Um, nah, it's fine. Let's just do this. He did get a little bit of battery and he's getting some really nice region on her. Um, okay, yeah, so he's going to steal steal the turn. Um, which is fine. Deal a decent amount of damage there. Edgar's got the majestic chainsaw. Still dealing nines. All good. Okay, so here I do want to keep that freeze up. So even though red card would be totally glorious, let's uh, let's freeze them. Okay, Pinello's got all her buffs, everything's looking, uh, looking fine. Um, I'm inclined to, let's see, A is clocking. Let's get the turn right. Into the yeah. Now everyone's topped off real nice. I probably should have used C65s. Um, now let's see you break 57k brave, buddy. You guys are really annoying, but... Okay, I've got a lot of auto crossbows left, so let's use them. Okay, so here, let's 
Oh, Phantom Rush. This guy's saving's gonna get broken. No one cares. Uh, it's fine. The turns are really weird, as you can see. He's still dealing great damage. It's the end of the battle. Cool. No, uh, no issues there. Uh, yeah, we're gonna auto crossbow again. That turn rate is really nice, so Pinello's gonna get broken here. No problem. Again, this team takes a lot of breaks. So freeze debuff is off. And I have to say, I have an urgent desire to kill A. Um, well, they're both they're both doing all attacks. Uh, so region's nice. It steals B's turn. Uh, yeah, I think. Man, I haven't gotten Pinala's Boomstone. I should probably do that. Okay, yeah. Let's switch to Waltz stance. Okay, I think I'm gonna use my last uh, drill here. Ooh, this guy lost his debuff. That's really useful. Uh, Sabin's debuff. This guy still has it. That's interesting. That's good to know. Um, okay, yeah, let's get turn for sure. Um, even though he's gonna get broken. Oh no, he won't get broken. Okay. Yeah, let's do this. Good damage. Okay, uh, so I can... Uh, this just seems way too appropriate. Okay, so he it would absorb. Oh no, they won't absorb Razor Gal. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's see this. Great damage. Okay, A is taking two turns for some reason, which is excessively trolly. Um, so I think I'm gonna just use. Eh, they're almost dead. Let's do this. Into her EX. So if Pinello gets broken, I don't think I care. Um, so yeah, let's clock. Let's clock this guy. There's that sap doing good work. Ooh, it missed uh, Edgar. That's nice. And he can he can break that. Uh, so we know what that guy's about, or what B is about to do. So. Uh, this would kill A. So, yeah, let's go ahead and kill A. And then Sabin's not going to get broken. He's going to use his C65 in delay. And this one should be in the books. Yep, no worries. Everything's fine. This is why the on-demand delay is, is awesome. Oh, and he's also ignoring defense. Alright. Uh, so, I could totally just Roomba attack, or I could, uh, like, recharge her skill and try to, like, jump into her EX, but this might kill. It did kill. Cool. Um, I was going to try and let Edgar get the last uh, last blow. You can sort of see how much damage Edgar is dealing, how much his high turn rate is actually a blessing in certain fights. Um, there we go. Less breaks this time. Three, three faster turns. Um, I do want to show one thing I think that's worth uh, worth talking about real fast.
All right, quick uh, post-show wrap-up. I did want to point out one sort of interesting thing is that uh, I actually changed Edgar's artifacts for this fight specifically, um, giving him a 170. Uh, I'm not giving him another Max Brave. Uh, I don't have a 330, but I have a 110. And I actually use the iBrave one because of how much it synergized with Pinello. A lot of people don't really change arts based on their team comps, but I thought that that was sort of cool. Um, I do really like uh, Edgar. I'm glad I've got him for the uh, for the FF6 uh, runs, and especially having the Figaro brothers just ripping up chaoses uh, together should be uh, should be fun. I think this team specifically is probably the best version. Um, Rosa might be good too. I don't I don't have her, but I do really really like Pinello um, paired with these guys. Um, yeah, they just cover bosses really well and Edgar's debuffs sort of help the uh, help the fight as you could see like we didn't have to worry about limited hits their max brave was bumped down to 40k max which the team can the team can shave that uh so yeah um it's uh it's really really nice um yeah hope everyone enjoyed uh the the ff6 uh ff6 run you can see my Pinello doesn't even have amazing arts uh it's been really tough to get good arts on her but uh, yeah, I'm really glad that I uh, that I purpled her. Um, I did have a really nice, uh, really nice entropy uh, eight run with her, uh, and a zero three Lulu and uh, my purple Terra. So uh, hopefully, Bug Terra gets fixed fixed soon. But yeah, I uh, hope you all enjoyed the run. Uh, Saturn Saga number fourteen, Figaro Brothers Saga number one. Um, take care, everyone. Stay safe and please be uh, be healthy.